What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another story time. So as you can tell, I am recording today's story time in my truck, which was not planned, but it kind of makes sense because today's story time is about my truck. So let's get right into this. So as you guys might know, because I made a video on it already, I got my truck February 1st and it is an amazing truck. I love this truck. This story actually happened all the same day, which makes it funny now, but at the time I was kind of pissed. So it happened about the end of February or early March. So I had the truck for just over a month, I want to say. Since I live in Canada, we still had snow on the ground. It was still extremely cold, especially in the mornings. And of course that morning I had to actually go somewhere. I had to go to the post office because I was expecting some important mail. However, my truck did not want to work with me that day. I do have remote start in my truck and I tried to use it for my bedroom window, which usually always works and it would not start. So I figured I'm just gonna put the key in it, turn it, and it should start. So that's what I went and did. I put the key in it and it started right away. However, whenever I put my phone and connected it to my stereo and started playing the music on it, it all of a sudden died on me. Everything shut off and I was like, crap. So that means it's the battery. My dad was arguing saying it's the starter, but if the truck started on its own by me turning it over, it can't be the starter all of a sudden dying. It already was started and then it died, which means usually it's the battery. So I got out, popped the hood, tried to clean the grease off to see if there was a date on the battery and I found the date, which is 2011, which means that battery right now is eight years old. To me, since I worked automotive, batteries typically last about five years. So the fact that this is eight years old, I just bought the truck, it needs a new battery in my opinion. But since I just bought the truck, I decided to call the dealership to see if they were going to throw that in for me. Luckily I did because they decided to come up right away. They came over in 10 minutes, connected the battery and boosted it right away. And they said since it was running right now, they said to charge it, I had to drive about 40 minutes and that will recharge the battery on its own. In my opinion, I wish they would have just taken the battery with them or taken the truck over to the dealership and charged the battery. That way they know for sure it is a good battery. But I basically just listened to them, drove the truck the 30 minutes, came back, didn't have a problem with it. As soon as I came back, I realized I could have just gotten a free battery and claimed that I drove that 40 minutes and then when the next day it didn't start, they would have had to give me a new battery. I really wish I would have done that because that would have saved me $150 because I looked up the price of the battery. That would have saved me $150 replacing the battery. But since they boosted it, I drove that 40 minutes and then after that, I drove downtown to get my mail and then I decided I'm gonna go and record a video. The reason I decided I was gonna record a video in my truck, kinda of like I'm doing this one, is because that week I didn't have any time to record videos at home. So basically I went to the same spot I'm at today. Luckily there's no ice anymore. It's been warming up a hell of a lot more, but at the time there was a lot of ice. It was still really cold. And so where I'm at right now is at our local beach in the parking lot, which usually there's nobody here. And that day there was ice all over the parking lot. But since I had a truck, I managed to make my way into it. However, because I had a battery problem, I wasn't able to turn my truck off because there was a very high risk. If I turned my truck off, it wasn't gonna start again. So I had to leave my truck running. And in that video, you can't really tell that the truck is running, but the truck was running. So after I finished recording my video, I put my phone in the cup holder next to me like I always do, went and put my truck in reverse and the tires just spun. I was not going anywhere and I freaked out. I'm like, how the hell am I getting out of here? Because the entrance to the beach parking lot, which it's a small beach, so it's a small parking lot, it's kind of uphill and I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna get out of this. So I was basically planned whenever I pulled into the parking lot, I was gonna do a, a three point turn and then drive out of the parking lot. But since the ice, my tires were just spinning, I decided I'm gonna put it in drive and I only had a couple feet to go or it's gonna be a huge drop off onto the beach into the sand. I definitely would be stuck then. So I put it forward a little bit and then I put it in reverse really quick and floored it out of there. Like, I mean, floored it out of there because in my mind I'm thinking if I lose this momentum now, I am definitely gonna be stuck and since it's ice, I'm definitely gonna be sliding onto the beach portion where I'd be guaranteed to be stuck. So I basically put it in reverse and floored it 
out of here and I managed to get it on the road and then I was fine but for a couple minutes there I was freaking out so that is basically the story time of everything that happened that freaking day for me going out and the truck not starting having to call the dealership for them to come and give me a boost me driving that 40 minutes to basically charge my battery me coming down to the beach parking lot to record a video and then almost getting stuck I was freaking out panicking thinking how am I going to explain this because it makes no sense why I was in this parking lot at this time there's no reason for me to be there especially if I did turn off the truck and wasn't able to start that's one thing but for me to get stuck in the beach parking lot that would be completely another thing that it'd be very hard for me to explain now I know what some people are thinking when it came to me needing a battery. Yes, I still should be getting a battery replaced. Problem is I'm not working right now. I can't afford the $150 to replace my battery. I'm thinking in the late spring, early summer, I'm just gonna get that money, which by then I'll definitely hopefully be working. And I'm just gonna go and buy a new battery and replace it myself since I know how to do that. But right now, since it's nearing the end of winter, I'm likely not gonna have a problem with it there's no point in me doing it right now, but I know it's gonna die on me eventually. I definitely think it's gonna die on me going into next winter. So before that, definitely gonna replace the battery. And I know a lot of people are thinking I should now, I just can't afford it right now. Hope you guys understand that, but literally I can't afford that right now. I really want to, so hopefully income tax, I'm hoping to get a little bit back and I'm hoping for the Canadian government, the uh, Trillium fund. I hope I get that soon. So maybe the combination of the two, I'll be able to have most of the 150 to replace my battery. But yeah, that's, that's my story the other day. It's funny now, but at the time I was panicking. I was pissed. I really wish I didn't drive that 40 minutes to basically charge the battery. I wish as soon as they left, I turned it off. Next day I went out, went to start it and needed a battery because it obviously, if I turned it off, it wasn't going to start the next day and they would have replaced my battery. They told me that. I wish I did that because I would have gotten a free battery, but in the same sense, I don't feel right doing that because I know the battery is fine now, but it is eight years old. I definitely should get it replaced. I definitely am going to, but I am going to leave this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's story time. I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.